Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, guys. It is Dollar Tree haul day. I actually went to the Dollar Tree yesterday because of the bad weather we were having here today. So I figured I'd get that out of the way so I didn't have to worry about being out in that kind of a mess. So I did find a whole bunch of goodies. I found some things I've been looking for and then I found some things I've never seen there before. So I'm so excited about that. So let me show you some of this stuff. I didn't even have enough room over here in my little basket where I put all my stuff to put this stuff away. But I found some of these organizers. It's a three-pack. Um, they're just called storage containers. And they're in these really pretty colors. And they kind of clip... I'm going to pull this one apart here really quick. Um, I just kind of want to show you guys how they go together because I haven't even checked it out yet. But so I have six of them here now. And let's see. These just clip... Not, not easily, but they do clip together, I guess, here. Oh, there it goes. Oh, actually, they clip together really nicely. Wow, I like these a lot. Um, these are going to be great. I have so much stuff that I need to get organized again, um, not just in my craft room, but look how nice they go together. I really like these. So these would be great. You could use these even in like a silverware drawer to organize some of that stuff or whatever. I mainly want it here in my craft room to get little odds and ends put away. So yeah, these are pretty great and they're nice and sturdy. They're not like real flimsy or anything. So I got myself two sets of those. Let me set them over there. I'm going to leave those together because I'm going to put them right in my drawer when we're done. And then I picked up a couple of these little baskets. I thought these were so cute, mainly because they have feet. They're just not like a little bucket. You know, you could use these for an Easter basket or the handles aren't the best. But um, you could use it for an Easter basket to make a little arrangement in there or something. I, these are just so fun. Um, I love their little toes, and the faces are just really cute. So I got that one, and then I also picked up the little chick. Let me pull up his little handle here. Well, look how cute. It's got the little feet, too. But these are just adorable. I figure I'm going to fill these up with some goodies, probably for the kids and grandkids, and um, send them up their way. And they're nice. They're a really nice big size, too. Let me kind of move some of this stuff out of my way. All right. And then these baskets. I thought these were so pretty. These will be so nice, like in a closet or something. I got all the different colors. You could, you know, get it all in one color. But they had this one here. It's kind of like a grayish color. But they're really pretty. And now these aren't super, super sturdy, but they're not super flimsy either. You know, like some of those laundry basket things are really flimsy. These are not. So I got that one. I got one in this pretty peach color. Um, so these will be great up on a shelf just to organize your things in a closet or whatever. And then, or you could even use these. These would make really good gift baskets if you wanted to fill it up with some goodies for somebody. They're just so nice. So I got that one in that bluish green, and then I got one in this pretty pale pink. So I'm going to keep these. I think I'm just going to mainly keep these for uh, little gift baskets when I need them. I think that would be a lovely idea. All right. Now that I got some of these bigger things out of my way here, these are my wish list items. I was so excited to walk in and see these little guys. They're not even little guys. They're big. I got the brown um, Easter Bunny, and I found the white ones. So I got two of each, and we're going to dress these little guys up and make them so cute one day here. I have been looking for these things for weeks. I've seen other people hauling them, and, you know, that's always my luck. I, it takes me forever to find some of this stuff. His little feet are underneath. But look how nice they are. They're weighted in the bottom, so they stand up. Does it say how tall these are? No, we got to measure these guys. Um... Where is my big ruler? That I do not know. Oh, yes, I do. Right behind me. Let me grab my yardstick here. It'll make my life easier. So, from the bottom up to the tippy-tippy top, he's just about 14 inches tall. So, these are so nice. I was really hopeful that I would come across them. And I think these guys will be so much fun to, like, dress up and, and use for decorating and things because they are just really nice. I love them. And they're just made out of a nice felt material. I'm not sure what's in here that's weighing them down. <clears throat> and it even has like, it looks like stitching. It's painted on here, but um, they have it on the little toes too. But look at their little faces. It's got a little extra glue hanging. But yeah, I was so excited. I've been looking for these all over the place. 
so now I have my set of four that I wanted. All right, so that was my big exciting thing that I found. I did pick up a bunch more Easter stuff. I picked up two more packs of these like glittery um, foam eggs. I like to use these a lot in different DIYs. I usually pull the string out, cut them in half, and use them, you know, to glue onto things. It looks really pretty. So I got two more packs of those. Those are the smaller ones. And then I grabbed another pack of these. These are just, you know, more or less the real fine glittery ones. But I love the colors of these. They're so pretty. And they all have, you know, like little ribbons and stuff on them. So if you wanted to hang them off a, a little tree like it shows on here, that would be really super cute too. And then, oh, I did get two of those. Two packs of those and two packs of those. Because I've used up most of the ones that I got before, so. And then I did pick up another pack of these. I love these, too, to decorate with at Easter time or for just spring, whatever. But my favorite thing to do with these is to make little Easter eggs. I cut these in half and kind of squeeze them a little bit to glue onto things. And they look like a cute little Easter egg. So that's why I got another pack of those, because I used up a lot of those already this year. And I did find some more of the Rick Rack. They're just calling it Ribbon. But I wish they'd come out with it white, because white would be wonderful. I'd like to have that for, like, um, gingerbread men and stuff for Christmas time. But I got another pink and another purple. They do have the blue, um, but I didn't need another blue, because I haven't opened my other one yet. And then I picked up these. I picked up two of these, which are completely tangled together right now. Let me see if I can get them apart. Here we go. Not too bad. Um... Uh, let's see. There we go. And these are just a nice size. I like these. These are more of a size of a regular egg. And they're on like this really pretty ribbon, and it has these little beads in between here. And it's just called Six Feet Garland. Um, but I don't even know if I'm going to use them as a garland. I mean, they would be really pretty. You could even add more stuff to this to make it even more fun. But I'll probably just end up taking these eggs off and using them in different projects that I want to do. But I just like the size of these. And you get what on here? Two, four, six eggs on there. So there you go. So now i got 12 of this size egg to play around with. So those will be fun. And I did find another size of the pom-poms. I had the big ones and they had a small one. This one's even a different size than the last one I got. Um, these are great for little bunny tails. I could see making little snowmen and things out of these, too, because they have the different sizes of them. So I think that would be fun, too, around the holidays, you know, Christmas holidays and things. So I got another pack of those to put away. And let's see, what else Eastery did I get? Oh, I got some of these wood cutouts. I love those. I picked up two of the big wood carrots. I thought these would be fun to decorate up. And, um, put, you know, just even if you just want to set it up, I can't speak. Set it up on a shelf or something, you know, decorate it up for Easter with some flowers, you know, in front of it or whatever. And then they have these little wood bunnies. And they have, like, the cutouts for the tail and then as the raised part for the ears, too. So I'm not quite sure what I would want to do with him. I may decoupage this bunny because I love to do that. And I have some really pretty napkins, so we'll see. I'm not sure yet. I have so many projects in my mind and just not enough time to... Get them all done. Oh, and in the Easter section, I found these. I thought these would be really, really cute to, you know, stick in a little basket or where the kids are around or something. I used to love these things. I remember these from years and years ago. These are the little, um, it's like a paint-by-number set kind of thing. And all you need is a paintbrush and some water, and that is the paint. You just dip it in there and paint your little peeps. And I just thought that was so much fun. I love these. So, I don't know what else comes in here. Is it... I think that's it. I thought maybe it was stickers or something. But um, you get 16, so that's that's pretty good. 16 of them. Of the peeps! So, yeah, that'll be fun for the kids to play with. And what else did I get? Oh, in the Easter section, I picked up a bunch of this tool. Um, really pretty spring colors. I got two of them in the yellow, and this is 5 inches wide by 4 yards. So I got yellow, and I got the purple, and I got the pink. And I think I may have to make one of these bunnies with, like, a little tutu. I think that would be so cute. So we'll try to get that done, too. <laughs> so many things in my mind I want to do. Is that it for Easter? I think that is it that I got for Easter. 
Now, I did pick up a few things for St. Patrick's Day. I don't do a lot of decorating for St. Patrick's Day, but I want to redo that um, hot chocolate station that I made that I have the removable front on so you can change it up for all the holidays. I'll show it to you guys when I do it. But I thought these would be some nice things to add to it. Um, these are just the foam scatter. I like to put these like on skewers and stuff and make them stick out as pretty decorations. And you get 20 pieces in here, and it has like the shamrocks and the coins. So I did pick up two bags of those, and I picked up this cute little bow tie. I thought this would be adorable for on the front of my thing. Um, so yeah, I haven't seen any wooden shamrocks yet, because I like to get the wooden things to paint up and use. Oh, but I did pick up a pack of the coins, so I have another pack of these coins. So I may actually just put one of these coins in the center of that little bow tie. But... You could use this for kids or whatever, or yourself. It has a little elastic that holds it around your neck. It's all sequency looking. So, that was it. They don't have a lot of cool stuff for, you know, to make things with for St. Patrick's Day. But I thought that was pretty good. And then, down in the, um, where they have like the, not Tupperware containers, but like the Betty Crocker plastic container stuff, I found these. And this is a set of 12 condiment, um, little containers and they have lids which these are great like if you're painting and you mix some paint up and you want to save it to put these in there with the little lids and I usually put a little piece of saran wrap over the uh, container before I put the lid on to make sure it seals it really good but these are great they're just a nice size they're uh, two fluid ounces they hold so yeah and you get 12 of them with the lids so I got myself a pack of those to have and let's see, oh, I found these, and I figured, you know, Father's Day is coming up, Mother's Day will be coming up, and they have these decorative stickers. Um, this one has, like, the number one dad, and all this other things that you could, like, put on a glass or something, or make, you know, a cute little project for Father's Day, and then they have this one here that's uh, for Mother's Day, and um, it has a bunch of these different ones in here. Best mom ever, you mean the world to me. Wife, boss, mom, <laughs> that's funny, and cool mom. So I thought those would be fun to do something with for, for those holidays coming up. And then I also found in the stationery aisle, oh, actually these I found, I love these. These I haven't seen these in a while. These are actually were in with where they have like the school supplies for like teacher supplies. Um, and they're sticky notes. I love this size sticky note to, you know, you can just write your things down, stick it up, and you're good to go. So I got these and it's 125 sheets and they're the 3 inch by 5 inch size and it's a nice lined yellow paper. So I was really happy to find those. I used to get them a lot. I haven't seen them lately. Um, I did pick up a couple more things here that I'm really really excited about though. I'll hang on to that here for a second. I did find another pack of napkins that were different. I thought these would be pretty to decolletage on something too. Um, I love these ones. They kind of look like a watercolor print. It's just some flowers in a box. But I thought that was real nice, simple image there to do something with. So I'll put that away in my napkin stash. And what do you get in here? You get 18 in here, 18 napkins. So, and that's that. And I did go on the hunt, like at Walmart and stuff the other day, to see if I could find some better deals now that Dollar Tree went up to $1.25. And you know what? I can't. I've looked all over the place. I've looked at Hobby Lobby, even on, with sales and Michaels and stuff. And still, as far as like these wood things and a lot of crafting supplies, Dollar Tree is still the best bet, you know, if you want a good deal on that kind of stuff. But I did find these Sharpies, and I was so happy to find these in colors. These are the Ultra Fine Point, and those are the ones I have, always have one here that I use to like make little stitching marks and things on some of my little wood projects, because it has that really fine tip, but I've never seen the colored ones at Dollar Tree with the ultra fine tip. So I got one in the blue, and this one's like a teal, greenish color, a purple, and of course I got another black one because those I use the most. I like these for all my calendar too that I have out in the kitchen when we need to write down um, appointments or whatever you need to do. They're really good for that because they write so nice and tiny. So yeah, I was happy to get those, and then I did find a couple new fairy garden sets that I didn't have. I found this one here. has your kind of like beach bum little gnome in there, it looks like. And with a beach ball and then some kind of a... Oh, it's got a turtle on top. 
I did not even see that. It's like a little coral thing. I don't know. Let me stand up here so I can see. Um, yeah, look. It's got a little turtle on top of it. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to put that one. This is The ball's flat on the bottom, too, to, you know, glue down on your little projects. But, oh, my God, how fun is that? He's got, like, a little ukulele in his hand there and his sunglasses, a little hat. I thought that was just so funny. I love that one. And then this one I got, this one has like the pelican here and a crab and some shell. Oh, there's a crab coming out of that shell. I didn't even notice that when I was looking at him in the store. That's because the one Dollar Tree I go to, it is so dark in there. Unless you're right up by the front of the store, I don't know if they're saving on electricity or what, but when you get back into like the crafter square section and stuff, it is so dimly lit, it's awful. But anyway, that's why I didn't see all these goodies. But yeah, look at that. I never even noticed him cl climbing out of that shell. Oh, that's really cool. All right, so I'll put that away with all my other goodies. Now, these I thought were awesome. I saw these. They actually had these in the aisle with the picture frames. And they're these little hanging light bulb lanterns. And I thought those were so cool. And they have, like, the little fairy lights on the inside. And it's a little switch on the top. So you could hang these outside for, like, a, a party or whatever. How fun would they be? And it looks like it has like a, I mean these are plastic, but it looks like the old metal um, lampshade on there. So they had them in this uh, silver color and they also had them in the gold. So I picked up three of each. I think these will be fun to have out um, during the summer. So yeah, how fun are they? But that's something I've never ever seen before at my Dollar Tree. So I get excited when I see anything that's brand new. but. I have a few more things here I'll save, and I'll go get little P so he can come in and say hi to everybody. He's been on a roll this week. Oh, talk about a loud bird. But I'll go grab him, and I'll be right back. All right, here comes little P. He was kind of sleepy out there, weren't you, little P? Thank goodness, because you has been loud, and he's a nervous Nelly because we got a roll of new carpet that we're going to put in our living room that's in there. It's not a huge carpet. It's just like an eight-foot carpet that we want to put in. And so that's got him all beside himself, huh? Anything new, these guys are just crazy, all of them. They're all scared to death of the roller carpet in there right now, so we'll have to get that done. But they'll be fine in a couple days once they get used to the new carpet. Huh, look at you, you're a nervous wreck. Look how puffed up he is, he's so crazy. He's been so loud this week. And tell everybody we did not get to go for our nail trim or to get our grooming done this week, huh? They only have a girl there on Saturdays that do it, and like an hour before we were getting ready to go, all of our phones went crazy with all these emergency alerts about that snow squall that was coming through here. And stop shaking, it's okay. And it was bad. I'm so glad that we didn't leave the house. It only lasted like a half an hour, but oh man, it was like blinding snow. So we did not get there last week. Try again this week, huh, Pay? I know you're not upset about not going. Look at him, he's just so beside himself with everything new going on in the house. Huh, but anywho, let me finish showing you the last few things I got. These aren't new items, some of my usual things. I got a box of the Whoppers, you want to open that up? Um, I love these things, I get these every once in a while. Not very often, but I do love those. You coming over here to see what I got? And then I did pick up another pack of these Nella wafers. Everybody loves these. You get 20 packs in here. Each of them has like, I don't know if it's three cookies in there. Is it two or three? Three. And um, yeah, everybody really likes these. So I did grab another pack of these. These are great. You know, anybody who's like going to work, whatever, grab a couple, throw them in your bag, and off you go. Because they're all individually wrapped like that. And I like, especially like that, because with these, you guys know, if anybody, you know, that really likes these, if you have one of the bigger packs and you open it, and you don't seal it up real good. They're like stale in like an hour, it seems like, but not quite that stale. And then I did get another pack of the uh, rod pretzels. We really like these too. Why are you hiding over here? People came to see you. Are you coming back? But that's an eight ounce bag of the rod pretzels. And these are really, really good. We like these a lot. Come back here, young man. Come back here. I got you things to play with. I got you the bunny. I got you the yucca one. I got you all kinds of stuff here to do. Now, you just want to go get it. <laughs> Where are you going with your not funny? Get over here. Get up here. 
behave yourself for a second. All right. So then, I, of course, I got two more jars of the jalapenos for my husband. He goes through at least, I would say, a little over a jar a week, at least. Because, like I said, everything he loves these things with. And that's the Beckenridge brand. He likes that, not the Pamper brand. Come back here. Where are you going? What are you doing? Yes, you're standing on my hot glue gun, which is why you're never in here. It's not on. I mean, it's cold. But this is why you're not in here while we're crafting, because... You wouldn't care if it was cold. You want that bunny? There you go. No. Here, turn around here. Turn around here. Get the bunny. It's almost Easter time. Play with the Easter bunny. Oh, he's so bad today. He just wants constant, constant attention. Don't you? Oh, yeah. He looks like he's biting. He's really not biting. He's more or less licking, if you guys can see that. He kind of just, like... Puts your skin between his beak, and then he just licks it. So luckily birds don't have, like, a lot of saliva. <laughs> huh. I don't know why you want to lick my fingers. All right, come on, you. Get up here for one more minute. We're almost done. Now, all right. You just want constant, constant, constant attention the last few days. All right, so I was happy to find these. I have not seen these at Dollar Tree in months, and these are the... Ow! That one hurt. Um, 1.32 quarts of Diet Pepsi. They haven't, they've had the other ones, but they've not had Diet Pepsi, and these are a lot more now at my grocery store. So, I was so happy to find those yesterday that I grabbed a couple of them. I have them out in the kitchen. So, oops, there goes that alarm again. And then I picked up some pretty cards. I want to redo that picture frame that I did for Christmas that I used the three different cards in, and it was so cute. I love it. It's still hanging here in my craft room. But I want to replace it with some of these cute little images. And I'll show you guys when I do that. I think I'll just do a, one video of when I redo my frames and my little um, Coco Station thing that I did. I'll just throw that all in one video to make it quick because I'm just kind of redoing them. But I thought that was so sweet. And their cards still are two for a dollar, and the... Um, other ones, look, are they homework ones? Is that what they have? They're a dollar, but these ones were two for a dollar still. And look at that cute little picture on there. I just mainly wanted it for the image for in my little frames. So I got that one, and I got this one. I thought it would be pretty. And I want to have this one, I think, in the center that says Joy of Easter on it. And that's really pretty. So that is it. That is all we got. I think, yeah, I already showed those the other day. At Dollar Tree Pay, now you're going to sit still. I do like their cards. They have some really, really pretty cards. No, you can't have the card. You can chew an envelope if you really want to. No, you just want to be held. That's his whole problem this week. He just wants somebody to hold him and play with him. and just He's just happy sometimes just sitting on you. But, yeah, you just want constant attention this week. And if he does not get constant attention when he wants it, he will sit and scream at the top of his lungs. Don't you, pay? Huh. I get to tickle your... Look on my ring. You got hooked in there good. Get that out of your mouth. Pee! You're going to hurt your beak. You're so crazy. He's so crazy. He's so crazy. Want to play footsies? Huh? Do you want to play footsies? He's so funny. He's the only bird I have that you could do anything like this with. I've never <laughs> had another bird that was so silly. He'll let you spin him around and everything. He just thinks it's so funny. Do you think it's funny? Tell everybody. <laughs> you go laugh. Tell everybody how funny that is. No? Oh, now you got glitter on your feathers. I don't even know where glitter came from. Probably those Easter eggs. Do you need some Diet Pepsi? Yeah, you can't have that. Sorry. No, you stamp your feet all you want. You still can't have it. Yeah, I know. But anyway, that was it. That was our exciting thing. I was so happy to find some of the things that I wanted at Dollar Tree. Where are you going? You are being such a brat. All right. We'll let you guys go. Everybody have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.